Hello, 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 and welcome to the closet. I'm Ellie Miriam, and I'm the closet quilter. I am working on this vintage cross stitch quilt, tablecloth quilt. I have appliqued a tablecloth um, from my late father in law. Um, he was uh, a professional uh, yarn salesman, wholesale. And he used to take sample uh, tablecloths, cross-stitch tablecloths, to sell his yarn. And we have a bunch of them. <laughs> when I say a bunch, I'm not exaggerating. <laughs> and they're wonderful. Um, and I just didn't know what to do with all of them. And now that I'm quilting, guess what? <laughs> I get to quilt them. Oh, and it's a little bit of a challenge because they're different fabrics. I've never worked with different fabrics. I've always worked with cotton. Now I've only been doing this about five years. So um, thank you all you uh, professional quilters that do videos. <laughs> I have learned so much from you. Uh, lately I've been listening to Susan, um, Susan Smith of Stitch by Susan and Natalie Bonner of Peace and Quilt. And, you know, a lot of people are working on these vintage uh, uh, pieces, and they're different fabrics. This particular one is linen with cotton uh, DMC threads on the cross stitch, and that would be great. Um, but I have cotton on the back, cotton on the batting, and then... I had to applique uh, this cotton tablecloth onto a sheet, which is microfiber. That is polyester. You heard it, polyester. <laughs> and then the tablecloth itself is linen, which is a weave fabric, a loose weave fabric. And then the threads, of course, for the cross stitch are cotton. So that's my challenge. Shrinkage. So after watching many, 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 many videos and having the experience of doing whole cloth quilting and seeing what shrinkage happens when you do very dense quilting, uh, very little shrinkage actually happens, <laughs> which, thank God. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do all over feathering and keep the shrinkage to a minimum. Um, and Susan Smith has a wonderful free video on uh, all over feathers um, so they don't look so linear, which is beautiful. So I've been working on that and I'm doing pretty well on it, I think. Um, the true test, of course, will be when I wash this. I think I'll wash it, you know, very carefully. <laughs> not sure exactly how to do this. This is my first one and I have a box of these type of tablecloths to do. So let's just see where we go with this. Uh, I did baste it quite thoroughly. As you can see, I'm picking out right now. Um, I machine basted. I used my micro stitch gun basting and the scalloped edges on the tablecloth. I glue based it. I heat set it, glue basted it so it is flat. Because when you're on a frame, the last thing you want is floppy edges. So I did that. Uh, some people thought it was overkill, but <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what, what happens. Um, right now, I'm just basically outlining each motif. And on this particular tablecloth, the motifs I see and I'm no expert by any means, are either roses or tulips. I can't decide which they are. <laughs> I call them tulips because this uh, particular green portion reminds me of a tulip. So I'm calling them tulips. You call them roses, whatever. I am outlining them. I am not sti I'm trying really hard not to stitch on the actual cross stitch because I don't want to disturb it. Um, mainly because these threads are cotton and my thread is a trilobal polyester thread. <laughs> uh, you see my problem? If 
the cotton shrinks and the trilobo, whatever. I don't know how nice they will play together. Um, and I'm not a professional quilter. This is not for a customer, so I can do this. And I have many, many, many tablecloths to <laughs> to deal with. So we'll just see what happens. But this is what I'm doing. Um, I've got cotton backing, cotton batting, a microfiber sheet, which is like an old sheet that's been washed so it's not going to shrink <clears throat> and then uh let's see what oh yeah then the tablecloth itself is linen with cotton thread cross stitching <laughs> what a mess anyway we'll see what a mess it is um but i am ripping out the basting here as you can see the technique i'm using is the one i learned from oh yeah Natalia Bonner. She has a wonderful video on how to rip out very easily by clipping the uh, bobbin threads and pulling. Clip and pull, clip and pull. It works really well so I don't have to disturb the cross stitch at all. I just have to deal with uh, the basting. And I'm using my Havel uh, snippers to make sure that I don't uh, it makes it easier not to disturb the linen weave. I don't want to pull up any threads on the linen weave at all either. There are a few challenges with this quilt. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I'm loving it. And um, to keep the shrinkage down, I think I mentioned earlier, I am doing all over feathering, which is by way of Susan Smith by Stitch by Susan her free video on the uh, all over feathering video. You'll see it if you go to her site, stitchbysusan.com. Um, thank you, Susan Smith. <laughs> and on here, I'm going to stitch around this flower, and then I'm going to go in and do the circle and then go out the other side. So we'll see how that goes also really trying not to disturb the cross stitch <laughs> it's a uh, it's beautiful cross stitch and it's undisturbed it's not i didn't find any stains on this tablecloth so i'm thinking it was just a sample that he took around and was never actually used because the ticket was still on it so um that's really cool and i hope you um enjoy this this video i'm going to put some music on for you and just have a good time <laughs> 